Hey guys, it's Savannah. So today I'm going to be filming a makeup festive holiday look. Um, I've been filming a lot of videos recently, so I don't know what you've seen or if you've seen anything since my last video, but <laughs> um, I can't really see the viewfinder at all. All I can see is the recording light, so let's hope that it stays on because it hasn't been. The mirror is right in front of the viewfinder, that's why, so. Um, I am wearing eyebrows already and mascara, but that's it. And yeah. I'm also going to try this to make this my first voiceover video. So if I can't figure out how to put a voiceover on, I'm just gonna have to delete this and re-record a video of me talking about what makeup I'm doing. So So I'm starting off by using my Born This Way concealer. I'm not sure what shade it is. I'll put it on the screen if I figure it out. Um, yeah. I'm only putting it under my eyes because, yeah. I also don't wear foundation because I don't like the way it feels and I don't really need it. I guess. That sounds horrible. I just, I don't really see much of a difference when I wear foundation because I have pretty good skin. So, yeah, I'm just not bothered to um, buy, buy it or wear it. I'm also priming my eyelids with concealer, so, yeah. Now I'm going in with my Morphe The Little Palette in Coca Mocha. Yeah. And I'm taking my favorite very fluffy brush and I'm taking the lightest shade in the palette which it looks very white but it's just the closest to my skin tone and I'm putting that under my eyes to set it and I'm also putting that all over my lid of my crease and up to my brow bone just to set everything so that everything just blends together and it's all kind of the same color and yeah. I don't really have like translucent powder or any powder that's not a powder foundation. Now I'm going in with my Morphe 35B palette. That was late. It is discontinued. Um, yep, so pretty, yeah? <laughs> and I'm taking a wet flat brush going in with the red shade in the palette, which is not a very good red. It's um, like kind of pink actually. And I'm just dabbing it uh, into my crease, which this was my first mistake. It does look very bad right here. It looks really crazy. I don't know why I used a wet brush. I, I don't know. It was just I, I'm used to using a wet brush when I use this palette because it's, it's not the best palette in the world. It's not the most pigmented. So I, I'm just used to using wet brush when I'm using these colorful shadows. But I, I, I was like, oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. And then I didn't want to put the red just on my lid as the first thing. And I didn't put a transition shade on either. So that was actually my first mistake. But there's a lot of mistakes in this video. And it, it, it didn't turn out as horrible as I assumed it was or as the path I was going on was. Um, but I think I did kind of, kind of fix it. It looks a lot better on camera than it did in real life, and in, in the mirror it looked horrible. So, yeah. I'm just kind of trying to blend it out now, trying to fix my mistakes. Now I'm taking the white shade and the bone shade slash my skin color shade in the palette. And I'm taking that just around my eye and under my brow bone and around on like under my eye and that kind of stuff just to kind of tone it down a little bit because you know when, when you go overboard with shadow you just want to kind of kind of just just tone it down a little bit and <laughs> that's the that's how I do it so if you you know if you go overboard with a shadow you can just take a, a shade that's close to your skin tone and go over it around the areas that you don't want it to be very colored, I guess. <laughs> and yep, really did mess up. <laughs> Just really covering up everything <laughs> that I messed up. Now I'm taking my Born This Way concealer again and putting it on the back of my hand. 
and I'm taking a flat brush and I'm cutting my crease. And I'm not very good at this. Uh, and I'm using a brush that I got four years ago. I got a set of 24 of them for $12 from Amazon. Again, four years ago. They're very old and frayed and crusty and gross. And that's why I need new brushes. But you know what? We're, we're working with it. We're doing it. And also, I only really wanted to cut like half my crease or like just the middle of it. But I ended up doing the entire lid. So, another mistake that happened. It would have looked better if I did just a little part of the crease. I don't really know how, how you do a voiceover, but um, I'm just kind of talking the entire time. Isn't there supposed to be parts where I'm not talking and you're just listening to music? This is this is fun, right? Okay, get ready with me, except, except it's 3 in the morning and I just wanted to film a video. Okay, I guess we'll cut some music now. So now I'm taking the gold shade in the palette, which is not a good gold shade, okay? I, th I assume this is going to be fantastic, that this is going to be great. It is neon yellow, it's not gold. And <laughs> you can even tell on camera that it's neon yellow and it's not gold. And, and that just that first little right there, right there is when I should have stopped and not put the rest of the gold on. But you know what? I did, because I had faith in that, in that shade. And it led me down. It led me down a lot, okay? So, um, yeah. Another mistake that I did that I'm, that I'm pointing out. So, yeah. And I'm going to make many, many attempts to try and fix this shade. But, um, you know, I, 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 you, you, you'll see what happens. But, you know. So now I'm taking that brush again with the red on it and kind of mixing them together so that it's not such a sharp line because, again, I didn't want to cut my entire lid. Um, I'm just trying to blend them together a little bit, which only made the red look more pink and the, the gold look more yellow, so nothing was achieved here. Now I'm taking a smaller, like, bullet brush, I guess, and the lighter green in the palette, not the lightest glittery green, but like that one, the limey kind of green. And I'm putting that under my eye my my lower lash line, that's what that's called. I'm putting that on my lower lash line, and I'm pulling on my skin, and no, yeah, I'm not supposed to do that, but I'm 17, I'm not that worried about wrinkles yet, sorry. And I'm not very good at this either, because I, I, I guess I have sensitive eyes, and I don't like the feeling of this. Um, but yeah, I'm also kind of uh, dragging it onto my crease and lid area um, to kind of make everything better and nothing turned out better. So here I'm putting lash glue on my eyelashes. I didn't show my eyelashes that I'm putting on, but they're called Gala and I think they're by um, Ardell. I got them for $5 at Kroger and they're beautiful. And then my camera died, so uh, let me catch you up on what we missed. So I'm on my phone now, filming on my phone, because I really wanted to take the makeup off already and I didn't want to wait for my camera to charge. Basically, I put a darker green under the eyelashes with a wet brush, and I put white in my waterline, and I put lashes on, and I think it looks a little bit better. So now, I'm putting on red lipstick, because I really just wanted to put red lipstick on on camera and get the video over with and take the makeup off, because I really didn't like it. Um, and I'm not very good at putting on lipstick at all, um, but like these, this, this turned out really good. I've never had a better red lip. It looked really good. So if you have smaller lips like me or like a small mouth or weird shaped lips or crooked face like me, <laughs> um, try ColourPop lip glue, liquid lipsticks. I'm going to show a close up of the applicator. Um, when I'm done with the lips, but I, I just love the shape of the applicator. It was really, it's really small and easy to draw on small lips with, um, and it's just, it's just, it's really easy <laughs> to use, and I really like it. So, if you're starting out with makeup or you just have smaller lips, I would recommend using ColourPop liquid lips because their applicators are 
great. Oh yeah, super cute. There is the applicator. Yep, super cute, fun, fresh, yep. Um, I'll put all the shades of stuff that I didn't say on the screen because I don't have my makeup with me right now, so I can't check. So now this is where you watch a close-up montage of my face with cool music in the background. Um, I'm not <laughs> going to make fun of it too much because I actually like when people do that. Oh, I also put a Stila Liquid Metal um, on my crease where the gold is to make it look more glittery. So uh, here's my montage. if you like me um i'm gonna make some more videos very soon <laughs> i have been uploading once a week at least if not more so <laughs> yeah if you want to be friends we can be friends i have all my my social media links in the description all of them all of them possible <laughs> I'm most active on Snapchat and Instagram, probably. And I have a pretty bomb Christmas playlist called Jingle My Bells, and my Spotify my link is down below if you want to listen to that. Hopefully you liked the video, hopefully I figured out how to do the voiceover, um, and I'm gonna upload this if I can figure out how to do the voiceover. Otherwise, it's just me silently putting on makeup. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. She's a big, big